Hi, I'm Simone from Pinch Penny Gardener, and today's episode, it's all about the seeds. All about the seeds. If you don't have good seeds in your garden, you can't grow your crops. But I'm going to share with you something. When I first started doing Pinch Penny Gardener, seeds cost 99 cents, and I could get a whole package for 99 cents. So it was reasonable. But now because of, you know, you know, seeds now can cost about two to three dollars a package. But in today's episode, I'm going to show you how you could save on seeds from your own garden. I live in South Florida and I really find that we only have three good seasons for planting. One is in October, the other one is in April, which is spring for everybody else, and then sometime in midsummer, like mid-June maybe. But luckily for me, my early crops have already gone to seed. What does that mean, gone to seed? That means that most of my crop has already flowered. That means that my broccoli, my collard greens, and some of my lettuce has produced flowers. And you know what's good about the flowers? Inside each flower are my seeds. And each seed saves me money. So today, I'm going to show you how to Cut your crops, get your seeds out so they're ready for next season. Okay, so because it's getting ready to be spring and I'm going to change over my crops, this is why I've allowed most of my lettuce, which is planted in all this flower bed here, to go to seed. Because I'm going to take my lettuce out and I'm going to plant new things in here. That's why I've allowed it to go to seed. Now, I want to make something very clear to you. This is actually going to seed when you have a full flower. I like to pick my, my plants going to seed when they have a full flower. Sometimes it, it, it's like this, and some people plant, pick them when it's like this in the bud phase. But I like the full flower phase because then I can get the full seed, and you can see the full seed. Now, I would just pick the flower from right here, right here at the tip. And so I'd have the flower in hand. Now, right here in the flower here, when you turn it upside down and you open it up, you're going to see that you have the seeds right here. Once you, once you open it up, it opens very gently. And these are your seeds. So this is the seeds for my red romaine lettuce. These are them. <laughs> and each little leaf like this right here will produce a plant. will produce a plant so you can see now what I would do is I would take them out I would let them dry a little bit because it is still a, a, a wet flower and then I would put it in an envelope I would put it in an envelope and I'd label it romaine red romaine lettuce but here it is Okay, I want to be clear on one thing. There are plants that produce a flower that produce fruit. So you need to be clear on your crops. Like for instance, tomatoes and strawberries. They produce a flower, but that's not going to seed. The flower they produce then produces the fruit. So you need to make sure that you know what your crops are because it is clear to be sure that some people might pick the flower thinking that it's going to seed when in fact it is a fruit that's being produced. Look, let me show you. This is a strawberry. And you see the flower it produces. This is a flower that it produces. Then it, it'll form into this little bud here because the flower will form the bud. And then the strawberry, the next step is here. And then you have the full grown strawberry. Flower bud, fruit, full-grown fruit. So this has not gone to seed. This is producing the strawberry. Now that I've shown you the difference, let's get clipping to save money on seeds. But here's a pinch of penny tip. Most herb plants, if you cut off the, the flower, the plant itself will continue to grow as long as you remove 
the flower and its stem itself, the plant itself will start regenerating and giving us more. forget that it only takes one seed to produce a plant and these flowers have about 20 seeds plus in them so you can see by being able to clip our own seeds from our garden today we have definitely saved a lot of money and pinched a penny today in the garden so this has been Simone from Pinch a Penny Gardener don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel Come down to the Sunshine State, we got flowers and veggies of plenty. We'll teach you how to pitch a penny. I'm talking about pitch a penny garden. Yeah, pitch a penny garden.